So welcome everyone to the second day of DEFCONF. And uh, thank you for joining on Saturday morning. And um, uh, I'm Tanya and uh, Victor and I will be moderating this session. And let's get started with our first uh, workshop and hear from Miroslav, Francisic and Peter about the TMT tool. Guys, take it away. Sure. So, hey, everyone. Uh, I hope you had a good night's sleep. And let's get into the TMT workshop. So, first things first, probably a bit of introduction would be nice. So, who are actually who are we actually? So, my name is Franciszek Nechas. I'm currently on the Packet team, and I enjoy automating just about everything and anything, mainly with Python. Peter, could you please go next. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm a member of the operating system CI, and uh, my focus is on improving um, testing tools and uh, testing process. So, TMT is one of my, uh, one of my favorite topics in this area. And Miro? Hey, hey everybody, I'm Miro Valkerti. I'm from the testing farm team and we are providing the testing system as a service, which serves as a backend for Fedora CI, RL CI and Center Stream CI. Let the be here. Okay. okay, thanks for the introductions and let's now get into it. So what can you actually expect from this talk or workshop? So first we are going to briefly introduce TMT so that we are on, all on the same page, but then we would like to get a bit more hands-on so that you can actually experiment and get something, some real uh, result from this workshop. That would be great. Uh, so feel free to pick one of your packages or components uh, that you would like to try TMT with. Uh, if you don't have any, that's also fine. Uh, Petru has some suggestions once the, once the time comes. Uh, also, it would be nice to have your Fedora account ready, uh, but it's not completely necessary. It's only for one step, I think. Nice. And also, uh, even though this is a virtual workshop, it will be qu quite a bit more difficult to uh, help you, but we will try as much as possible. So if you have any problems, questions, ask any time. We will try to monitor the chat. Uh, so that's hopefully also will we'll go fine. I will also briefly cover what's new since last DEFCON, since there are quite a lot of new features and also some plans for the near future. OK, so let's now get into it. Uh, the uh, Also, I forgot to mention that there are some links in the presentation, for example, to our guide uh, or to the TMT cheat sheet, if you want to refer to that. Uh, they are also av available from the chat event, so maybe even after the workshop, but it's not necessary during the workshop completely. OK, so what actually is TMT, or Test Management Tool, and why was it created? Uh, the name suggests a lot, I'd say. Uh, but the motivation uh, was to have a user-friendly way to work with tests. Uh, how do we achieve that? Uh, it is by having a human readable, uh, clear, and concise configuration, uh, which is supposed to be consistent across various environments. Um, and we use uh, the FMF format, uh, which stands for flexible metadata format, uh, which is based on YAML. Uh, so that's human readable, but it has some features, uh, for example, inheritance. But those are not very important for this workshop. Uh, and we make use free of we make use of three levels of metadata. So first, there are tests uh, which define, uh, for example, the maximum duration for which the test can run. Then there are plans uh, which basically group tests uh, and define how the test should be executed. So for example, that they should be executed in a virtual machine or in a container. And then there are stories uh, which define, for example, the why of some features, etc. Uh, but those are not very important for this workshop. Um, OK, and there are also some more links to the guide or to examples, which you can refer to later if you are interested. OK, so let's go next. Uh, and the work that workshop's title was quite catchy, I'd say. It was TMT is equal to freedom for tests and comfort for users. Uh, so I think we should elaborate a bit more on what we actually mean by this. So by freedom for tests, we mean the fact that uh, the tests are not uh, reliant on some kind of internal infrastructure. They can be run anywhere, uh, basically. Uh, and also, they are not tied to a particular test case management system. Uh, the tests are stored directly in the Git repository, uh, which makes it convenient to open source them and share them, for example, between upstream and downstream. And also, it makes it easier to uh, integrate components and write integration tests, uh, thanks to this. Uh, and then uh, the second part was comfort for users. So. Uh, the fact that the metadata is stored in the Git repository is uh, also quite convenient for this uh, because everything is in one place, which makes it uh, convenient to track and uh, to orientate yourself in it. 
uh, it is human readable uh, and should be quite simple and, and, and uh, short. And also the configuration is consistent whether you want to run your tests in uh, inside GitHub or GitLab or in Federal CI on your CentOS team. Uh, also, we can quite easily modify on how it actually is supposed to be run using uh, the command line interface, which is supposed to be quite flexible. So you can easily specify that you want to run your tests in a container or even locally, or perhaps on a physical server that you have. And it also makes collaboration between development community easier. Okay, so let's now get into some first practical steps uh, where we are going to show you uh, the differences between metadata. So the first step obviously is installing TMT if you don't have it already. Uh, there is a federal package uh, called TMT, which you can install directly. Uh, this is the base package. There are then some sub packages, for example, for running tests inside containers or inside virtual machines. If you want to install them all, then there is the TMT all package for you, uh, which you can install. I will mention the exact name of the packages a bit later. Also, if you prefer containers, uh, then there is uh, the container image on Quay.io uh, under the user testing farm, which you can use as well uh, for experimenting during this workshop, if you prefer this. Okay, so uh, you can install this well. I'm giving you a bit more examples. Uh, I hope maybe the other guys can paste some, something in the chat, uh, the, the commands, which you can follow, but uh, let's, let's uh, continue for now. The first step uh, in working with TMT, if you want to start from scratch, is initializing your repository. Uh, so there is a command TMT init, which is uh, basically the equivalent of git init. Uh, it prepares the repository. Uh, you can make use of some examples that we have, uh, example templates. So for example, if you use a template mini, uh, it go it's going to create uh, some simple metadata uh, so that we can uh, get a bit more acquainted with TMT. Also, just a side note from me, uh, there is basically every command in TMT has quite detailed help message. Uh, so if you wonder about some flags or maybe some options of the command or how does it actually work, uh, then refer to help. Uh, I think it's usually quite helpful. I can maybe show you. Yes, and you, you can go into the commands and use TMT run minus minus help, etc. So, and there, there's quite, quite a lot of flags. Uh, we, we wanted to give as much options as possible. So. It's flexible. Okay, so let's take a look at what it actually created. The TMT in it minus minus ten by command. Uh, can you go next, Peter? Uh, yeah, so, I just have to switch the window. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a bit too much. Uh, here. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh, so it created a simple plan. So that's L2 metadata, uh, which defines uh, the script which should be executed during the test. So that's TMT minus minus help. Uh, and now that we want to run the plan, uh, we can use TMT run command, uh, which by default uses the virtual machine for safety reasons. So if you want to run this, then you need the TMT provision virtual sub package. You can install it also using DNF. Uh, but if you don't have this, uh, you can also run it locally, and that's uh, by adding the, the provision minus minus how local to the command. Uh, but also you need to add uh, minus minus all to TMT run because otherwise we just run the provision step, uh, which is not what we want. We want to run all the steps, also execute them. Uh, and also, uh, if you want to, for example, specify the image uh, which uh, you want to run the tests in, uh, then it's possible by adding uh, to, to an argument to the virtual uh, step. Okay, uh, but however, this, this, this way of specifying tests wouldn't be very convenient because each time uh, that you would use TMT run, it would run only one test because it's diff this, this script is defined ex in, uh, in the plan. That would be very inconvenient. Uh, so this is where test metadata or L1 comes in. Uh, so if we want to define a new test metadata, we can use a TMT test create command. Uh, there are currently two templates which you can make use of. Uh, the first one is pure shell, and then there is beakerlib, which is a shell library basically. Uh, and if we if we use this command and take a look at the result, uh, it's quite similar, not not too much not, not too much more difficult. Uh, it just defines a path to the test that should be executed. But now that we have this, we also need to somehow link these two parts that we created in the, in the last two steps. So uh, this is where the discover step comes in. Uh, the discover step uh, basically defines how the tests to be executed should be found. Uh, so we need to specify that we want to, uh, exec that we need to execute uh, 
tests uh, that are in the local FMF tree. So we use discover uh, how FMF. And that should be all. Uh, if we now use TMT run, it's going to run the plan that we defined previously. Uh, and, all, and during the discover step, the test that we, that we uh, created will be found and then executed during the execute step. And that would be about it for the introduction. Uh, so I'm going to work to Petr uh, with some more practical examples. OK, uh, thanks, Fanta, for, for, the, for the introduction and for, for the examples. So uh, now I would suggest you all open your terminals and uh, let's start uh, experimenting with uh, TMT directly. So uh, what I propose, um, we, we start with some exploration. So uh, let's, uh, let's have a, uh, uh, an example, an example uh, project. Uh, let's, uh, let's do some experiments with the FMF. Uh, so if you are a packager so, uh, and have the Fed package tool installed, the Fed package clone FMF is all, all what you need. Uh, otherwise, you can do git clone and uh, check, the, check the project uh, directly directly using this. So um, that part I have already done. I have uh, this uh, repository here. Uh, let's see what's what's there. There's a, uh, just just a couple of couple of file files in the repo, and uh, we will do uh, we will do some exploration. So um, if you run TMT, uh, just just the TMT command, you would see uh, what is included. Uh, what's included in the in the repository so here we see okay so we have we have three plans there is some smoke uh, tmt i don't know what is it plans plans upstream so uh what can you do uh there are, there is the plant sub command so you can you can do some uh, some sub commands uh, some actions with the plants for example uh, listing the plants or if you would like to see some more information some more details you can do uh tmt plan show so um, maybe uh, in the chat, if uh, um, I think it would be very good to uh, to get some feedback. Uh, for example, uh, any any one of you guys were able to install TMT? Did you have any Did you have any problems with installing the package? Any any dependencies broken or any problems? <clears throat> Am I able to run container test from the Podman TMT execution? Uh, so it means running container on container. Uh, Miro, uh, I guess there are some possibilities to do that, right? They are that this is actually a testing form runs it, but it it doesn't work from inside TMT. So if you have if you are running TMT uh, without container and inside you will run another container uh, that we do not support it. But I think it's doable to do. But uh, I think the first container needs to be privileged. So currently, this is how actually testing form runs TMT. It runs it inside the container. But for TMT, and so you can do it by, from localhost. Currently, this is not possible. And EG, I think you can file an issue. Maybe we can make it working for the uh, for for the uh, local execution. For the execution in the automation, I'm not entirely sure, but because that will be three podmans actually there. So uh, that's quite quite a lot of nesting there. So I would file an issue and we can take a look at it, what we can do, at least for the local execution, I think that should, should work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now silver blue, I get it. Okay. Uh, very well. Uh, any other, was there any anybody successful with installing TMT? Any, any other, other problems or questions related to that? If yes, be, please feel, feel free to use the chat uh, to ask any questions. So, um, so I suppose uh, all, you all have uh, <clears throat> who is experimenting install TMT, and you are able to access the repository. You check the stuff here. So uh, let's see um, what we have. Um, so for example, uh, there's some plan smoke, minimal test smoke. It does some preparation. It, it installs FMF, uh, and the execution parties. Uh, it just uh, verifies that the help uh, switch works fine. So uh, let's let's see how actually the the plan looks like. So this is uh, this is the minimal smoke test. The summary is optional, so just these you, you just need these two lines to actually enable this this simple thing. Um, let's look uh, about the others. So for example, the plants upstream. This is interesting stuff. Ranta already uh, commented. 
that one of the uh, one of the freedoms for tests is that uh, you can store them on a, in a Git, and then you can reference it from another Git repositories or from uh, another projects. You don't have to duplicate the test code, and in this way, it's it's possible to very very easily share the test code. So, for example, the plans upstream runs upstream FMF tests. So th this means that there's a bunch of tests uh, in the uh, on the GitHub project. And instead of copying them, uh, we just can reference them. And during building uh, building the the Fedora package, the same set of tests can be can be run. Um, okay, so that's that's the upstream thing. <coughs> and as we already mentioned in the chat, uh, TMT and FMF are very big, uh, very good friends. And uh, it might happen that change in one could break the other. So we are running <clears throat> we are running integration tests uh, here. This is integration with TMT. In the discover step, we are referencing the the TMT repository, and because TMT has a, a quite a lot of tests, we are selecting only some, uh, which which makes sense just to confirm that uh, with the new FMF TMT would still be would still be working. Uh, let's let's see how how the plans look like. So for example, the upstream. I would say very, very <coughs> straightforward. You just say discover tests using FMF from this repository, and we are selecting a specific RF from the Git repo so that it's uh, it selects the the latest bits uh, which represent what's what's currently in Fedora. And finally, uh, let's see what's in the plans TMP. Uh, very similar stuff. You're checking the Git repository with this reference, and we are applying the filter. Select so just tier one, tier two tests. Some additional prepare step, which says uh, we want to install TMT all, so that uh, the guest is prepared. TMT is installed there, and the test can be run. Good. So that's about like some some first exploration. Uh, let's jump to the next one. Let's do some real stuff. Uh, okay. So imagine you come to a Git repo, and there is something. You can see there are some plans, but uh, you would like to know. Um, so, what would uh, run if I uh, if I execute the tests? So, this is uh, uh, for this. Uh, as I said, the discover step uh, is used to like check check the tests, uh, maybe fetch them from another repository or discover them from from the local repo. So, if you if you want to uh, see uh, what would be run. You would say, uh, please run, but run only the discover step. This means TMT run discover. Okay, so here we have um, the plant smoke, just one, one test uh, from the TMT integration, about 60 tests, and some A tests from the upstream repository. If you wonder uh, what tests are included there, you can use the minus V switch for more, to enable more verbosity. So that's about uh, that's about it, and uh, you can you can apply multiple switches here. There, there is no additional information, but if you sometimes are interested about what, uh, what happens under the hood, you can enable debugging, and the debugging will uh, will tell you some some more information about what what's happening in the uh, under the under the hood. So uh, let's uh, let's maybe. Um, we can discover just the plan mm -hmm. and name. I will select plan name uh, upstream and discover uh, with minus D. You would you would see that we are calling some repositories. What the links? There are some checkouts. And if you are adding uh, the debug options, there is some more more detail. So if anything uh, goes uh, wrong, this is this is the way how to investigate uh, where the problem could be. So um, this is about the discover part. Um, now let's actually run tests. Uh, one more way how to do uh, a dry run is using the dry switch. So um, I'm here. I would say TMT run, but just let me uh, let me show what would happen. So here you see we have the we have the three plans. Each of them would do the discover part. Then the provision would be done. As Franta mentioned, virtual <coughs> is the default, which provides like the full, uh, the full functionality, full guest with uh, with all the capabilities. But you run the tests in a safe environment. Some defaults for the guest, 
then some preparation uh, of the of the guest, for example, installing the, the package, FMF or TMT package, then executing the tests. Uh, once the execution is done, a report would be, uh, uh, the report step would say, would uh, inform you about, about the results and the finish. The finish step is using for uh, cleaning up. So that's uh, that's the uh, that's the example. So uh, we could do maybe we just pick the, sm uh, the smoke test, and we, we try to run it. So let's see let's see what will happen. Team run. Plan name smoke. And uh, I like it at least a little bit. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> So virtual machine takes some time. Um, it must boot. Um, then uh, we need to install the packages, do the preparation. So this is uh, probably not <coughs> not one of the uh, fastest ways how how to, uh, how to uh, check testing. Um, one uh, one tip, uh, one hint for you: uh, if you do TMT run last, uh, which means like the last run follow uh, it would uh, show you what's what's happening under the hood so uh, here we see uh, some synchronization was done but now during the preparation uh, i think dnf is now fetching the metadata so uh, this will take some time uh, and we will we will see the updates updates here uh, it seems the metadata are very slow today Maybe the network, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, we see. So Fedora 35. So it's it's fetching stuff and it will it will take some time. So uh, this brings us uh, very quickly to the next option. So we have uh, FMF, it doesn't need the full virtualization. So uh, what about uh, running the running the plan in a, in a container? That would be faster. So yeah, that's uh, this definitely is an option. Let's see what's 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 here. Oh, okay. So we have we have finished everything. So uh, here we see uh, <clears throat> the preparation was done, execution one test passed, and that's the that's the summary of it of it all. Um, okay, so let's let's try to be a little bit faster. So uh, we will say run all steps. But the provisioning step, uh, but the provisioning step would be done using container provision how container, uh, and that's it, and that's it. So uh, instead of uh, provisioning the the virtual machine, we will we will we see the container was 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 much faster, and uh, here uh, if we connect if we connect to the uh, RAM, we will see that again. We are very slow on the on the fetching the DNF metadata because of installing the package. So, uh, okay, let's let's make it faster. Um, one one more tip uh, for you. Uh, I'm when using the containers frequently. I'm uh, I'm doing a cache like uh, I actually prepare a container with fresh uh, Fedora metadata so that. So that uh, this installation and that stuff can can work much faster. So uh, let's see uh, if we do this same, but check the Fedora fresh image. Let's see. So in preparation, uh, and we still do not see what's what's under the hood. So let's uh, I would say let's let's turn on some more debugging uh, output so that we see what's what's actually happening. Uh, so, so it prepares uh, the preparation uh, much faster. It installs the package. Okay. And uh, once the installation is complete, the test is uh, executed and we see the results. Execute, do some preparations. Here's the output and finishing. I'm not sure what Podman, why Podman container stop takes so long, just stopping the container. But uh, fine. So the, um, that was an example about uh, about using a container. And now finally, uh, 
if you feel safe, if you have some tests, you you know what they are exactly doing, you can you can do them. You can run uh, the tests directly on your uh, on your laptop. Um, the provision method is called local. So that would mean here uh, I would say instead of provision how container, I would say provision how local. So that was that, that was it. Uh, very very fast way how to how to run the test. Um, so I was using um, double variables here. So here uh, you would see direct link. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> direct link to the uh, to the log. So if you want to uh, get it, you can you can check like that. Okay, so this works fine. Or you could do a minus v. Uh, and you would see the output of the test directly. So, so this is this is a very easy way how to how to quickly execute tests. Uh, you just come to the repository, you just uh, do TMT RAM, you select the right provision method which which is which is good for you, and uh, and that's it. So uh, I would like maybe ask um, anybody anybody was able to execute the tests from the Git repository, uh, or. Do you do? You, uh, did you run into any? Uh, did you run into any problems? Um, does it work for you? Maybe if you if you can just uh, if you were able to do the TMT discovery, <clears throat> please uh, just paste in the chat TMT discovery done so that we know that actually things work. It, it doesn't make sense to continue unless the very basic stuff doesn't work for you. <clears throat> oh, Ubuntu, some experimenting. Okay, nice. <clears throat> yeah, containers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no issues. Great, thanks for the feedback. Um, so I will jump to the next slide. <clears throat> um, so we thought uh, it would be good actually to um, try some really tangible stuff. Uh, we think that TMT makes it very easy to enable tests uh, for your component. So uh, we now propose to take uh, your project, your favorite pro project. It can be the package you maintain. It can be another package, uh, or if you do not have any 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 package, uh, so we propose you can you can uh, try did, uh, which is which is quite um, a simple tool used for uh, reporting what what happened. Mm, for example, how many issues uh, you were able to fix on GitHub or in Bugzilla, or how many uh, how many pull requests you created on GitHub and and such stuff. So uh, this is a simple project we, which you could which you could experiment with. So let's let's maybe paste the paste the link uh, into the chat. So this is uh, this is the uh, does the work does the link work actually? I believe okay. So that's <coughs> that's the project. Um, you can clone it and uh, start experimenting with it. Uh, we will be doing uh, the examples on it. So um, first thing, uh, you can use git clone or fat package clone did and, um, and change directory to that, uh, to that uh, component. And uh, let's, let's start with checking out some, some uh, example uh, branch for, uh, for testing. So uh, I will be accessing my <coughs> Uh, the repository here, <clears throat> and let's let's do the git um, git out branch one new test for example. Uh, switch the branch, and then uh, uh, what was Fratishek already showing the TMT init command can be used for quickly get started. So tmt init minus template mini minimal tmt init minus template mini minimal and uh, here you see uh, there was a plans example created let's see what's there 
plants example. Uh, so this is just pre-populated example with the with the with the, with the script minus minus help of the component. Okay, so we are we are testing it, and we would like to make a simple uh, simple um, smoke test for data. So I just I just change change the command, and maybe I don't like the, the example name, so I move it to plan smoke FMF. Uh, now, if, if I check what's around, okay, there's the plant smoke. Uh, fine. Mm, plant smoke. Very good. Um, so, what do we do? Uh, use the minimal template, and that's done. We can rename it, we can adjust it, and uh, now. Uh, the next step is uh, to create to create the pull request actually so uh, mm, if you if you if you are uh, following us please um, uh, follow the link to the rpms did and here uh, there would be a button which says mm, fork uh, you click on it and it will create your fork and now from your fork, you would just uh, access, access. Uh, you would use this, this link for SSH, and you would add this as a new remote to Git. So uh, if you are, if you are uh, following us, please make the fork, copy paste the URL from here, and the step for adding the remote is Git remote add fork and this uh, and this uh, this URL so for for me this this would look like like this but I already have it there <coughs> so it, add a fork whatever. And, and that's the that's the URL Is there so once uh, once you have this done, uh, we can we can continue. We can continue. I'm looking if we have any. This project has no been fork because that's not the original. Do we have any successful forks there? Okay, I see we have Radic Maniac successfully forked. Uh, fine. Um, okay, so uh, so we have some new files, uh, and uh, I would like to I would like to create a pull request. Uh, which would enable enable them enable the tests. So uh, I would add the .fmf. This is important because it uh, it marks the root of the metadata tree, similar to .git, which which marks the root of the Git repository. And I git plans, git add plans, plans. Okay, so that's about it. .fmf version and plan smoke met. Uh, enable a simple test. Push a uh, fork, or the second fork is the same, upstream, and the name would be one new test. Okay. So let's wait until Peggy responds with the URL for creating the pull request. Open the, the URL. Enable simple smoke test. Create pull request. And now let's uh, now we can just just wait until until uh, there are some results. 
uh, I actually did it from from master, which is some some old reference. So we will see what will happen actually. But uh, we can maybe uh, until until we have some some results in the pull requests, we can we can continue with the examples. So uh, okay, fine. One thing which was mentioned by, by Franta, I think very, very, very good point. Usually, uh, you do not want to write all tests in a single file, but uh, when you have a component which has a reasonable number of tests, you would uh, rather create uh, a separate tests, so maybe separate directories for each test with the test metadata and with, uh, with the scripts which they are implementing. So uh, this is this is the way uh, how to go uh, would be to create a plan on the base template um, and then create individual tests. So uh, I will check out the the row height uh, the row height range actually because uh, this this is the this is the latest what we have plans upstream uh, is the actual content of the la latest row height. So um, what do I do now is I create the sorry just just let's, let's see what's there. So this is this is running uh, some upstream with tests. Uh, yeah, so this is what you already know. But we are now going to create a new plan, TMT plan, create, and we check the template base. Oh, missing name. Okay, plans, and it would be it would be tests for individual plugins. So um, maybe just just to give you a, a more tangible stuff, what, what did uh, what did command does? Git, uh, for example, GitHub. So it would it would check what what happened during this week in GitHub. It would show you the issues which were closed, pull requests created. Uh, very very uh, very useful tool for generating your reports. Uh, this is very very. Uh, Stuff which uh, most people do not do not like to do. It, it, and did can take care of this. So um, and it has uh, individual plugins for accessing GitHub, Bugzilla, GitLab, and other uh, other places. So so you can do this at the end of the week, and it will print all, all the, what happened during the week, for example. So um, I pre uh, create the uh, the plan. The plan is there. It is called plugins. And it says, uh, okay, we will be testing uh, test individual plugins. plugins. Uh, it will discover tests from the local Git repository using FMF, and it will execute using MT. Once this is done, I would create um, I would create a new test, TMT test create. Um, it would be called let's let's create a test for Bugzilla. Uh, so, um, PMT test create tests bugzilla. You can choose it whether it should be a shell, simple shell test, or bclip, like bclip logging and some other fun functions features which are uh, which are useful. So I choose this one, and then change the directory of the test bugzilla. And here you see what's what's created. So um, there's some summary. <clears throat> Verify Bugzilla reporting. Bugzilla reporting. And this test, it would use bclip. Okay, uh, so that's about it. Uh, the test looks like this. Uh, this is some skeleton used by default. Uh, it provides some setup, test, and a cleanup. Uh, what we will be doing is just checking um, checking the config. Um, I will do maybe something very fast here. Um, for example, instead of doing uh, okay, so, um, let's do something very far, fast uh, right now. So did did has this feature uh, this option test, which. Uh, it's with, with, which does some checking um, and for, for the for, for the changes with, which happen on, on GitHub, we don't need to create uh, a directory. Uh, everything from from this actually uh, is not needed. This is for some more complex tests. I would be just uh, very very fast now with uh, 
this uh, this example. Um, the clip test is there. Uh, now let's see how things would work together. TMT run discover minus v. See that the plan plugin, the new plan, would do the discovery. Here would be the test bugzilla, uh, and uh, it would be it would execute the stuff. So um, maybe um, I'm just checking the time. We have about 20 minutes uh, until the end. So I guess I will I will not uh, deep dive more here because we have some other other stuff uh, still to uh, still to go through. So maybe uh, okay. Uh, so that's uh, that's the example how to uh, how to create the multiple tests in the in the repository. And in the same way, you would do, for example, TMT test create a bug. Uh, it would be test for <coughs> for GitHub TMT test create you know, template um, bclip uh, tests uh, up, up and up. And, and in this way, uh, you would do to um, tests uh, for each individual plugin. Uh, and then, in the same way as we did the first smoke test, we, we could enable we could enable the uh, yeah, uh, test for the individual plugins. Okay, so that's um, that's the example of the more uh, real life scenario when you have like multiple steps in the in the Git repository. Maybe let's see if anything is happening in the pull request. Okay, good. Scratch build is done, and this Git test is running. So. Well, let's see what will happen. And now we have here um, one more slide, uh, uh, which is uh, for Miro, related to reproducing issues. Thanks, thanks very much, Peter. So with, with reproducibility, we have a vision that uh, failures and errors should be easily reproducible from your local host. Right? This is very important for the good experience. So for that, we will be uh, showing a snippet in testing farm results which you can paste in your local host and easily rerun the test in the same environment as they run in CI. Uh, we have a first uh, MVP version prepared for DEF CON where we are showing this snippet and it's available on Fedora CI and CentOS Stream CI because like TMT tests are available in well, via multiple environments, right? So here for Fedora CI and CentOS Stream CI, we have the snippet available. And with that snippet, basically you get the same code that the tests run for, the same context, I just need to check the screen, it's too small for me. So you get the same uh, TMT context, uh, environment variables, image, and the same test code, which runs in testing farm. Uh, yeah, Peter is here showing. The reproducer currently is quite long. The, this is an MVP, and we hope to get have it a lot shorter, ideally with one TMT command, right? Currently, there are certain steps which TMT doesn't do, for example, cloning the test repository. Uh, and also preparing a little bit the environment. Uh, so, so that's why there's, there are multiple steps here, but we hope that we will get to one command uh, later on. Here you can see as, uh, as, as the snippet provides basically uh, how it will provision a Fedora 34 machine. So this was actually, uh, uh, this was a, a test from Packet, uh, uh, from the Hello World, I think. Yes, there is the, the GitHub packet, hello world, uh, at the cloning at the beginning. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, on the ne next example, I, have, I think we have an installability test. Right, installability test, this is from Fedora CI. So installability test and all the generic tests in Fedora CI are written in TMT. So currently TMT provides there a very easy way how how actually users can extend generic tests on top of uh, on top of Fedora CI, and here basically the test we run is exactly the same code uh, that uh, that the installability test is written in, and uh, it will be testing on Fedora Rawhide. So it's a very similar experience. The third one is special because it will not run in uh, a virtual machine, <coughs> but it will run in a container. The RPM inspect test is a generic test which uh, has how container inside the, the test code, the FMF file. Uh, so the uh, OSCI here is actually maintaining the RPM and RPM inspect image, uh, which, uh, which they provide and they handle. And they run inside uh, some scripts which do the job. 
basically all the information about which test is being run is under that DMT environment are based by GAML. Maybe if you can open that link with the curl mm -hmm. better, that is the that is the file which the testing farm, the service generates. And this is what actually Fedracia passes to testing farm. So they know exactly which uh, which component is being tested by uh, by RPM inspect. So this is the way how 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 basically the user who is calling the testing ser service can uh, uh, can con configure parameterize the generic test so it does what they need, right? Mm -hmm. So this is this is something which we should uh, which was one of the dreams like uh, when there is a, a failure in the CI we would like to provide users with a super easy and comfortable way to reproduce the issue. So this is one one next step uh, step into this direction. So thanks a lot, Miro, for working on this and making this working. We have we have somebody joined. So sure, if he wants to jump in, maybe there are some questions, or maybe he's just the next presenter, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm, okay. Uh, just a quick check. Uh, uh, when when shall we finish at uh, ten fifty or fifty five? How much time do we need? Uh, do we have? I you can finish uh, right at eleven because there is a half an hour break till the next session. So it's fine if you end like right at eleven. No problem. Okay. Good. Very well. Um, okay. Uh, so we have still a couple of slides uh, to show some some useful stuff. Uh, for example, uh, one very common scenario is that you have, um, as we as we um, yeah, as we saw with uh, with the virtual machine, sometimes the, the setup can take some time. So, for example, you really have a very simple test, but uh, it takes really too long to boot the machine fetch the DRAM metadata and install the packages and that um, that stuff. So uh, one of the common scenarios we want to uh, we want to support and it's it's already working, uh, although we, we are working also uh, on improving the user experience, is that you you can select the steps which uh, which will be run, for example, run everything until execute. So I will I will try to do it. For example, <coughs> uh, what do we have here? So in plans, uh, plans upstream. Let's let's say upstream. TMT run uh, and uh, run until until execute. Uh, and I select the plan the name upstream. So let's let's see uh, what will happen here. Uh, so a virtual machine would be booted. Uh, the package would be installed there. Uh, we will see what will, what will actually actually happen, uh, and this takes some time. Uh, then, uh, um, for example, you execute the test, and then you find out, oh, okay, so there was something uh, there was something wrong, and I want to execute the test again, uh, but the machine is still running, the guest is prepared, everything is there, so you just you can do just oh, okay, so let's let's just call the execution once more. And even if it is finished, please force it like re-execute the, the step once again, uh, because um, maybe there was a network glitch, or for, for example, there is a package missing on the on the box, and I would like to uh, I would like to prepare it. So uh, maybe let's see what's what's happening under the hood. Then it run last low, so we are just yeah. You'll see this will be installing. Click on the guest, which will take some time. Um, so let's let's give it a few uh, seconds, hopefully. Uh, so uh, as I said, uh, I can say please run on the last uh, on the last uh, on the last run, which was uh, which was executed before. This is this is the minus 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 last. Uh, do the execution once again, or one of the supported subcommands is login. This is very useful. And this allows uh, you to log in to the guest and maybe do some adjustments. Uh, it, it's possible to log in actually during. Oh, okay, we see the installation is underway. So hopefully, in a, in a short time, there will be something on the guest and running. Uh, okay, the test is uh, the test is running. Some upstream to tests. Two tests failed. Okay, and maybe we could see. What was the failure? Oh, 
Ah, did command was not found. Ah, so this means that on the on the guest there is no did uh, install. We we forgot to add it to we forgot to add it to the plan. So now let's see if, if this will work. That was a test back yesterday. So let's see if it will work here today. TMT run last login. <clears throat> okay. I uh, will get to the machine. Okay, there's no need. Okay, that's fine. So let's install the package. It will install it there. Uh, go outside. And now PMT run last and execute again. If I would just execute, it would say, Took us failed. I have already executed this step, so uh, no no point to execute it again. But we know we, we want to execute it again because there was some change on the guest. And here we see the progress. One test, second test, and uh, the result is oh nice. Two tests passed. Very good. So in this way, uh, you can you can do uh, you can do this uh, do this stuff there. Uh, sometimes. Um, you uh, or very frequently actually you want to uh, change the test code and then rerun the tests again uh, which would be which could be done uh, using tmt uh, run uh, discover so maybe just uh, i will just now uh, not not uh, show so, show this stuff but if you apply the test code change you would do uh, force the discover step once once again. So this like uh, discover tests again. So use the fresh test code and execute again would allow you to do this change very, very quickly and save a lot of time. So that's one of the scenarios we support. And maybe let's let's go further to maybe show a couple of more couple of more examples. Uh, so um, <laughs> one of the motivations to create TMT was to get rid of the old beaker uh, make files. Uh, for those who know them, they are really, really ugly stuff. Um, and we wanted to provide something very, uh, very uh, much more readable. Uh, so for those who do not know, it's it's possible to take, take the old make file and just use TMT test import to convert it. So just a quick, uh, I can quickly show you get TMT. We have there some examples for, for the conversion. Let's see, here's the make file. It looks like this. And I do TMT test import. And let's make it faster without an iterate. So it was before, and this is after. You, you would see just a very, very human readable YAML with all the information. Uh, the nitrate integration allows to import some additional. Uh, okay. So I don't have, I don't have. Uh, I don't have uh, initialized. Okay, let's see now. TMT test import, and it should contact nitrate, and it would bring all the details from the nitrate test case. So, and there are some some more more stuff there. So you would see that there are some links, related bugs, uh, adjust rules, some additional information fetched and. Now this is this can be stored in Git and you're done. Uh, we would like also to help people who who used standard test interface tests for uh, for enabling tests. Uh, and uh, on the documentation uh, side, we have a couple of we have a couple of uh, examples how to take the old uh, standard test interface test, for example, like this playbook. Uh, if you want to run just a Simple smoke. That was the original form for standard test interface. These two lines are now for TMT. Much more easier. Much more. Much more. Much more faster. Required packages. Uh, yes. In the previously, it would look like this. So here, here you can get some some inspiration. Uh, some examples for inspiration. How to achieve what what was in uh, uh, in the STI. How to do this in TMT. So these are some examples which can help with this. Um, and uh, so that was that would be about the migration of some old tests, and maybe just uh, very quickly mention some uh, additional comments uh, commands which we have, uh, which haven't been mentioned uh, still. So TMT status gives you some information about 
trans uh, were previously run and what what is their status so this is uh, this is checking all the runs which were there before uh, you can choose to, to tidy them up tmd status minus minus v some more information like maybe you, can, you you could be running more multiple jobs on your on your guest testing more things so in this way you can see uh, what, what is already done and what's what's in progress uh tmt clean uh, is a quick way to do the cleanup tmt clean clean runs for example uh which would uh which would remove the runs <coughs> but there are maybe uh some abandoned machines right status abandoned uh abandoned abandoned there is some abandoned machines i was actually running the the virtual machine which which is uh, which is still running so maybe we could clean up the guest uh before tmp clean guests and let's let's be verbose about them. so it's it's stopping some guests in some older plan and maybe this will be something which already is not running we'll see so that's that's about the cleanup uh team to uh, can be used for uh making sure the test metadata are okay and the tmt stories can be used for tracking implementation test and documentation coverage which could be useful which could be useful and we don't have unfortunately enough time to show uh, all of that and um, now we have uh, a couple of news what happened since the last year uh, maybe we can you know we can show this slide or yeah of course so uh, like the last year we were able to finish the zool integration so for zool is used as a uh, CI system on top of pull request or merge request in Fedora CI and also CentOS Stream 9. So that is available there. And if you drop TMT tests uh, into these gits and uh, enable Zool, then Zool will automatically run uh, TMT tests nicely and provide it uh, in a similar fashion as other checks. Uh, also, what happened uh, in terms of the features, so we have now support for reboot during the test execution. So it is supported that the test can be rebooted uh, and it is actually made in a way that it's compatible with restraint, what is very important for Red Hat folks, which rely on this feature. Oh, uh, yeah, almost compatible. We have a bug there, but yeah, <laughs> soon yeah. it will be. <laughs> of course. Um, so we have also a way how to parameterize TMT plans from environment variables, what can be useful uh, from CI and also not to have hard coded there's some data, so it can be parameterized nicely. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we have integration with uh, workflow tomorrow, which is again another legacy internal tool. Uh, Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the slides went away. Yeah. Uh, so we, ha we have a way how basically you can export a uh, TMT test uh, and, and, uh, and with an FMF ID and the workflow tomorrow can still run it. This is important for some fluent transition from the all the way how we run tests in Cyrel. Also, there is possibility to discover tests from sources. This is great if you that you can bundle the tests together with sources as you are releasing your package. And uh, actually, TMT can discover the tests from those sources. So you can lock them down. The, the test code can come together with the, uh, with the R, R source RPM can be bundled inside uh, and, and, and lock it down like that. Uh, then we have TMT clean, TMT lint uh, implemented to clean up the the resources TMT created and linting, uh, linting uh, the, the TMT FMF files. Uh, we have support for exiting after first failure. So if you don't want to continue the run, uh, when first test fails, uh, TMT can exit. If, if you ask for it, then there is a nice progress bar implemented. Also, there is, a, there, is, there is a lot of documentation improvements. For example, there is the second chapter of the guide under the hood. And we documented how you can easily migrate for the STI format. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So what, what, we are, what we are planning very shortly, because we have just one minute, so uh, we will be extending and the documentation. That's a never ending story. Well, important thing that is happening now that we are implementing multi-host support, so we can write multi-host tests using TMT. And very big feature will be that you will be able to specify very rigorous hardware requirements for your tests. And uh, the underlying CI will support this. Also, we will be completely revamping how CI and testing form the service which runs TMT tests works with TMT, so it's all aligned and, and, and works consistently. So you will get this nice experience for the producing. So you'll be able to run the same thing as CI runs on, from your local host. 
uh, that comes with improved debugging and usability. So for the common use cases, we would like the workflows to be clean uh, when you are debugging, developing tests and yeah, implement a lot of nice ideas that we have out there and fix a lot of bugs that always come with software. So if you have some ideas and uh, or found some bugs, definitely use our uh, GitHub issue tracker to file them. Uh, or if you want to contribute, there is a good first issue tracker uh, label, so you can use that. And you can find us on the TMT Libera chat or internal Red Hat IRC. Contact us if you want. So thanks very much for joining today. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you, Miroslav, Franciszek, and uh, Petr. And thank you, everyone, for um, attending the talk. Um, please remember that you can go to the work adventure um, and continue discussion. Uh, I suggest you to use session room number five, which is in the top left part of the map. Um, so feel free to continue discussion and uh, don't forget about the coffee tasting, which is starting right now at the stage. Thank, Thank you guys. very much. Have a good day. Have a good day.